my resignation will be effective in 14 days. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul set to become New York State's first female governor in just two weeks. So who is she? Hochul grew up near a steel plant in Erie County where her father used to work. She went to Syracuse undergrad, then earned her law degree from Catholic University in 1983, getting involved in politics shortly after. Hochul worked as a legal counsel to former Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan. She was elected to the Hamburg Town Board in 1994. Governor Elliot Spitzer appointed her Erie County clerk in 2007. She entered national politics in 2011 after another sex-related scandal. Representative Chris Lee resigned from his congressional seat after reportedly sending shirtless pictures to a woman he met on Craigslist. Hochul won a special election to replace Lee, flipping a staunchly red district blue. And I am so looking forward to representing the people of the 26th district and fight for the issues that I know they care about in Washington. So thank you. Thank you. She served one term in Congress with an assignment to the Armed Services and Homeland Security Committees. It's an amendment I proposed that was, uh, I'm grateful to my colleagues for accepting this, that was to propose that the department only purchase uniforms that are made in America. And the bigger picture of this is to ensure that our national security and our economic security are tied together. Describing herself as an independent Democrat, Hochul wasn't afraid to break with her party, voting with Republicans to hold former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress for withholding information related to the failed Operation Fast and Furious gun trafficking investigation. She lost re-election in her redrawn district in 2012 to Chris Collins, who ended up pleading guilty to insider trading before he was pardoned by President Trump. Andrew Cuomo asked Hochul to be his lieutenant governor in the 2014 election. They won that year and again in 2018. Hochul is known for her grueling travel schedule, spending time in all 62 New York state counties each year, becoming the face of the administration on the ground. But she's mostly stayed out of the public spotlight. Some critics saying Cuomo wanted the power to himself, especially during the pandemic. He only included Hochul in one COVID press conference and reportedly left her out of his book last year. But Cuomo did ask Hochul to lead the administration's campaign against sexual assault on college campuses and to co-chair the Heroin and Opioid Abuse Task Force. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women. After the New York State Attorney General released her report on the governor, Hochul spoke out, saying, I believe these brave women and admire their courage coming forward. No one is above the law. Under the New York Constitution, the Assembly will now determine the next steps. And now we know what at least one of those next steps will be. Kathy Hochul, my lieutenant governor, is smart and competent. This transition must be seamless. Hochul agreeing with Cuomo's decision to step down in a statement today, saying it's the right thing to do and in the best interest of New Yorkers, adding that she's prepared to lead as New York State's 57th governor, set to become the first woman to run New York State just three days before her 63rd birthday.